commentary. Uh, we're going to start things off here and get right into what the market is watching and what we really need to pay attention to. I know I've showed you guys these weather maps before, but we're going to go back into it. But before I start that off, just want to let you guys know here as far as corn today, corn did finish up about three cents uh, for July. December corn up about a penny. Uh, beans up 13, kind of leading the way. Uh, July beans up 13, November up seven and a quarter, uh, with the wheat up about six and a quarter cents. So, looking at these weather models uh, that we've seen, this is our this is the noon uh, weather model and uh, the one to five day uh, forecast. What they've done here, as far as the top end, uh, they did end up taking uh, some of the most of the rain that we had seen, uh, or they they lightened up some of the totals here as far as this area right here, and that's in that northern Iowa, southern Minnesota. This is where they've been hit the hardest. Uh, they've moved some of that rain out here maybe to give these guys a little bit of a break, uh, but uh, they did take some of that, uh, that out. Also, uh, northern sections of the eastern Corn Belt, they've increased a little bit of rain, uh, but uh, some, of the, some of the bigger changes here as we get into the six to 10 day, uh, it is a little bit wetter to the south uh, and east of uh, this line here from from Kansas City to Chicago, and um, they've they've increased some rain totals through this uh, through this region, uh, drier to the north and west, and um, and we are looking at uh, some rains that have moved uh, into Wednesday uh, of next week. So a little bit, uh, I guess, toward the middle of next week. But they did increase some of the totals uh, right through this midsection here, and. Uh, We'll see how this changes day to day. But the 11 to 15 day model, um, a little bit wetter for Iowa and Minnesota. So a uh, little bit, a uh, little wetter there. The northern plains in Ohio also looking to get a little bit more rain, but drier in the delta and the southeast. So let's take a look at what's what happened here today. Knowing this, the way the, the, the weather has been, we are going to get these rains. We do have a lot of guys out there in the fields getting some work done um, over the last few days. Even these guys in, in southern Minnesota out getting out in the fields and getting some work done after they had seen that big snow, that big heavy snow last week. But here's the July corn chart. Okay, we know this big gap that we've seen. We've talked about that and the gap that was left yesterday. Today, we did hold uh, yesterday's lows, and we did find a little recovery here today. Uh, as I mentioned, corn up uh, about three cents for July, coming off of its highs. But we need to try to go up and fill this gap. We may have a uh, another push to try to go and do that uh, over the next few days as long as this rain is coming. But we also have a report coming out on Friday. So that may keep more of a bearish tone on this, maybe more so on new crop, uh, which we'll get into that chart here in a minute. But we did hold those lows. We do need to hold that again um, here, uh, or at least throughout the week. Uh, but maybe we can get into this gap yet, but it, we are in a downtrend, maybe looked at as a selling opportunity if we get there ahead of this report. Now, as I mentioned, the December chart, here's that big gap that we had. And we've got an opportunity still to go up and try to fill that. We took out yesterday's lows, but just barely, by about a penny. So 530 was the low today. We still have this gap that gets filled up at 531. Uh, I'm sorry, 551. So um, we may end up getting that if this rain stays in the forecast, may get a little balance. Now, as I mentioned, we've got a report out here on Friday. Guys are going to be watching that. Uh, or maybe preparing for that here as we get into that Thursday, Friday morning time frame. Uh, but we are expecting to see some pretty big numbers once again here as far as ending stocks. So this is just, a, this is just your supply and demand, but we will get a look at ending stocks here, and, uh, and that may end up being a little bit bearish, so be a little careful there. Uh, but short term, if this rain stays in the forecast, maybe a little bit of a bounce. Uh, nice recovery today off of the lows. Uh, but if we get back into these areas here, we're going to find some good resistance up around that 550. Um, some of the other markets, some of the outside markets, we've got crude oil down about 50 cents today. The dollar's down about four right now. Uh, the stock market, though, up 83, so finding some strength once again, um, up about 83 points right now. And as far as livestock, cattle down uh, about 50 cents. We've got hogs that are up 20. So uh, relatively quiet, I guess, overall as far as uh, livestock, but uh, you know, keep an eye on that too. Cash cattle, if we see that uh, trade here this week, uh, that may end up pushing these uh, pushing prices around relatively quick as well. So uh, give us a call if you guys have any questions. You can reach us over here at 
262-7538, or give us a call or, or check us out on the web at allendale-inc.com. Have yourselves a great day, and we'll talk to you tomorrow. Take care.